Well, uh, Prime Minister, dear Dimitar, always good to, um, uh, to welcome you uh, to Athens uh, during these very challenging times. Let me take the opportunity to, to congratulate you uh, and, uh, and your people on the very successful beginning of the long process towards uh, uh, the European uh, um, family. You know, we've always um, uh, supported the integration of the, Western, the Western Balkans into, uh, into Europe. And of course, uh, this is also particularly relevant when we're talking about one of our um, uh, closest neighbors. Uh, it will also be an opportunity today to discuss uh, uh, the significant challenges that we both face uh, when it comes to the rising cost of energy. I want to repeat uh, that Greece uh, stands ready to support um, uh, Northern Macedonia during these challenging times. Uh, and of course, I think it is um, to the interest of both countries um, uh, to promote uh, uh, investments by uh, Greek companies uh, into Northern Macedonia and to connect our infrastructure uh, in such a way that will uh, increase um, the energy ties between our two countries. So there's a lot to, uh, to discuss uh, today, but uh, uh, as always, it's uh, a great uh, pleasure to welcome you to, to Greece. Well, first of all, thank you very much for the, for the possibility to have this meeting. And uh, normally we have uh, really relations which are on a very high level. And uh, in the name of uh, the people of our country, I would like to thank you for the support uh, which we have received during June and July for the start of the negotiations of North Macedonia with the European Union, which happened after 17 years of, of delay. So this is a significant day for us, and uh, we are building a starting a very intensive process of negotiations where uh, the help of uh, already experienced member of members of the European Union, as it is Greece, uh, will be very valuable for us. Another important topic, as you mentioned by yourself, is the energy crisis in which uh, all Europe is, and most of the world. Uh, we have done uh, a lot of preparations for this winter season, but of uh, significant uh, uh, interest and of significant importance for us is that uh, the close ties which we have with Greece, especially in the supplies of, uh, of raw materials for production of electricity in our energy facilities, uh, remains open during the whole winter and spring in 2023. And also uh, to continue the successful uh, Greek investments in North Macedonia, especially in the field of, uh, of energy. You, are, you already know and, uh, and our public knows that uh, we already made a decision to become part of the Alexandropoli uh, LNG terminal and uh, as well as uh, the market testing is going on for the new interconnector with Greece, which will give uh, possibility for diversification of, uh, of the energy supplies to our country. And additionally, the new, uh, the new energy facilities for the future in North Macedonia are uh, supported heavily by Greek investors. And as we can see, uh, at this moment, we have, uh, we have in the pipeline or under preparation Greek investments of uh, up to 1 billion uh, euros in the field of energy. So two countries neighboring, uh, I would say example of good neighboring relations, uh, not only for the region, but for the whole Europe. Thank you. Thank you, Dr.